Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to the shore. Now, this is a first-person horror game based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft. So once again, guys, we are diving tentacles first into the Cthulhu mythos, but this game seems very different than others we've played on the channel. Whether it be Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, or The Sinking City, a lot of games based on Lovecraft tend to have the same visual aesthetic. Very dark, very gloomy, very shadowy. But whenever I saw this game on the Coming Soon page on Steam, it always hit differently and looked very unique. Um, it kind of reminded me of Mist in a way. There's like photorealistic um, scenes and the color scheme is bright, but at the same time very washed out and hopeless looking. It almost reminded me of an old timey photo. So it's definitely intrigued me and I don't know a whole lot about the game. I've actually kept myself in the dark about it because I just, the visual style was enough to can encourage me to get this. So uh, let's go ahead and see if that was a good decision and we'll start a new game and see what the shore has to offer us. Probably death. Or madness. You know, you kind of have to pick between one or the other in uh, any kind of Lovecraft based world. Oh, wow. Okay, so we were in a shipwreck. Um, let me see if I can actually... Turn up the voice volume, because I could barely hear him. But apparently we have to find someone named Ellie. Do you know where Ellie is? Mine? Mine? I guess not. Uh, message in a bottle. Okay, how do we grab? Oh, okay, E to grab. I've been arguing with John about how many actual days have passed since we ended up here. It seems that all of our hopes are drifting away, like these bottles should do. They always return to the island as if something is leading them back here. If you are reading this, we need your help. I can actually look around at the items. That's probably going to be useful. All right. Well, let's go ahead and investigate this shipwreck, and maybe we'll be able to find some supplies or something. A shred of hope. Oh, what a man needs to keep moving before he loses his sanity and his will. Walking along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. Okay, that must be Ellie. We got nets and I guess this was a fisherman's boat. And there's the lighthouse from the start screen. I guess maybe we should see if we can head that, that way. So we can hold shift to run. I'm not sure if we have a stamina meter or anything like that, but I don't want to miss anything. We armed ourselves and walked along the shore. To our surprise, we came across other ships that had wrecked without any trace of survivors. It was like a graveyard for ships. Our compass goes mad any time we try to set a course off the island. Our captain says it's because of the volcanic dust. We think he's gone mad. Sounds like the captain was right. Reminds me of, like, Davy Jones' locker or something like that, or the island from Lost. Uh, open inventory to inspect items. Oh, that's cool. This actually reminds me of the forest. So I guess Ellie must be his daughter. Am 
My wife gave this pennant to Ellie before she left us. Glad to have found this. It's very important to her. I refuse to believe my daughter was swallowed by the vicious sea. I'm sure she washed up on the shore somewhere around here. I will find her and give this back. Alright. Well, our supplies right now are low, as is morale. The... Argyro? Sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation. I wonder what that means. They speak of a fisherman who was lost in a stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. What misfortunes could have drove him here? I don't know if it's misfortunes, but maybe dark powers. Speaking of which, those are candles. So we are getting right into the occult fast, it uh, looks like. Cthulhu, right, uh huh. I have offered my right arm and spoke the correct words in his absence. Only pain accompanies me towards my demise. I was forced to leave the lighthouse. There's something wrong in all of us. Only the slumbering god can save us now. What god is he talking about? <laughs> oh, my sweet summer child. Well, can we grab this and at least be well armed? Uh, I'm sorry, I'll go drown myself now. Oh, we can't actually go into the ocean. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Well, I guess we should look behind us too in case there's anything hidden behind the rocks that we're walking near. I guess we'll head to the lighthouse and hopefully not run into Willem Dafoe. It's a big island, too, from the looks of it. But the game is just called The Shore, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure where our... Oh. Okay, normally when a game says toggle run, it means that there's something chasing you. So we have some totems set up. What is that? So we got some sort of obelisk there in the distance. And one of those mysterious All right. Hold, uh, let's let's deal with one catastrophe at a time here. I'm liking the graphics. We sinked our feet in the sand for the last time. She asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear each of her breaths being shorter and shorter. And by the time I finished my story, pneumonia took her life. Mm. So that must have been his wife. So we got shark fangs. Definitely people have been living here. Laundry's been hung out. Oh, this looks pleasant. Looks like a gate almost. Let's see what's actually in here. Actually, it wasn't the film The Lighthouse. It was, um... What's the name of that movie? Shutter Island. That's made me kind of weary about lighthouses. Ooh. The forms on this sculpture are unknown to me. Is that a... Migo? Possibly?
Venus de Milo. I have never seen such creatures before. Something is wrong here, like the god have forsaken this place and its creation. The fish-like people are no humans at all. Oh, we're dealing with deep ones already? Short blue tongue, shark eyes. Very strong. I tried to speak with them, and in return, they hissed and growled and made all kinds of weird noises. No trace of language. They are hostile and seem very aggressive. There is no trace of civilized behavior on them. Yet they seem to understand our movements as they have. Even humans before. The fish-like deformities on them are present. They have tried several times to ambush us. Alright, just making sure. This artifact we found. This statue, it looks ancient. Our captain says we should take it back with us and that it could make us rich. David, on the other hand, believes that a foul stench of evil dwells within it. What utter rubbish. From the moment we wrecked here, he hasn't stopped talking about bad luck and otherworldly omens. I heard him talking to himself about throwing it back to the sea. I'm almost certain he's mad. He's obsessed with those dis these disgusting leeches he found. He can't stop talking about how these worms have at least nine stomachs and more than thirty brains and at least eighteen testicles. He says that quality matters rather than quantity. We couldn't stop making jokes about it last night. After some time, he took it personally, thinking we were mocking him. He moved to the third floor of the lighthouse to continue his little experiments. Ugh. Oh, that looks creepy. Abnormal body shape. No symmetrical shape that could define a logical form. Asymmetrical mouths all over its body. Quarreling and injured and seemingly forgotten, it's been 27 days since we are here and came across something that our minds still cannot comprehend. How could such a thing exist? How does God justify this act? How can he allow such monsters to roam upon his creation? My mind is terrorized a million times as I try to visualize this beast. My hand is shaking as I draw each line. It is a plague of the mind. I decided to give it a name. The Monster with a Thousand Mouths. It may seem strange, but I heard a voice, or more like a whisper in my ears, that shivers down my spine. Well, that's a preview of coming attractions. Oh, these must be the... Ooh. Okay, we are apparently taking that for safekeeping. And that. And key. Definitely will take that. We've got some meat hooks. I mean, all in all, in far, as far as lighthouses go, it's pretty comfy. I guess we'll head up to the next floor and see what David was up to. Got a lot of orbs here. I would like to take a wrench to defend myself, but I don't think we're going to have that luxury. So this is where we can kind of get a... Oh, wow. All right. I think that may have been a deep one who just darted behind the boat there. I actually wanted another look at that obelisk. Looks like there's one on the other side, too. Alright. Can we get into the chest? Oh! This dagger looks way too old, but it looks like someone's already wiped clean every part of it. The shapes and sculptures are quite eerie. Can I... Okay. I mean, we just read something about fish people. I figure we need something to defend ourselves. Call me crazy. Okay, this didn't 
this didn't work well for Robert Pattinson. Now, this is a much bigger game than I thought it was. Looks like we got some ruins or maybe a broken obelisk on the other side. Those uneducated fools. They won't let me write for them. They're all fishermen with dirty scuffed clothes and smell horrible. Their beards reek of alcohol and spit comes out when they talk. I'd rather stay another four hours at this point and take care of the problematic mechanisms of this handcrafted construct. Do not regret this journey. It certainly made life more interesting since then. Not to mention the view from up here. All of the hatred, misery, and sadness of mankind fade away into the line where the sea and the sky collide. Well, he is not wrong there. It is a hell of a view. Yes, indeed. Let's see if there's anything else on the. Ooh! Oh, that's not good. I swear I saw something towards the horizon. Behind the mist. It wasn't a whale or a great white shark. Its many legs stretched a hundred feet, submerging its body into the sea. It crawled as if it was infected by a thousand parasites. From its tentacle mouth, it spit out black, disgusting and disfigured blob-like figures. The moment they fell into the sea, they swam away faster than a dolphin. As the mist kept rising, I could barely see the creature. That wasn't a good sign. I should start placing those talismans I found at the bottom of the lighthouse around the pathways we made. Okay. What? Oh no! Okay, thank you. Ugh. Oh, there's something purple and glowy down there. What is going on on this island? There's a piece missing. Ooh, I like that chest set. I'm trying to everything I can to just avoid the fact of what I just saw. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Oh, do we actually have to try and get this thing... Work? Oh, I think we got it working. Do we just turn on the lighthouse? I think we just turned on the lighthouse and gave away our position. Great. Love it. Hi there, Seagull. If I keep on running into you, we're going to have to give you a name eventually. Looks old and reminds me of the occult my father was a member of. So we got some interesting background for our character. And looks like we can't turn the lighthouse off, unfortunately. So we're, I think we're kind of stuck. Alright. Well, let's head back down. I kind of want to see if I can find that chess piece. Now, apparently there is combat in this game, because I have uh, looked at the controls and there is a button to fight back. So, I, I don't know how effective combat would actually be, probably not very, especially if we're dealing with, like, deep ones. Okay, here's more chess. Now, 
Now that the music stopped, we can maybe give this place another once over, see if we missed anything. See, that now would be a time to go ahead and grab a knife or, you know, a harpoon. Actually, can we grab that knife now? Nope. This guy has very different survival instincts than I do. Maybe we'll see the other chess piece later. I know I probably need to be paying more attention. That's the thing when you're playing these kind of games. Because you're trying... Alright. Oh, <laughs> the cellar. Where nothing bad could possibly happen. See to crouch. Oh, I'm going to have to get used to that high. How did they manage to let him die in here? What made them forsake their civil ways? A very strange figure. Ooh, I think I know who that... I know who that could be. Definitely. Ooh, they had a crow's cage. We've got runes. I had to hide. I had to. I ran. I climbed the rocks and tried to hide. That's when I fell into a pot pit full of dead bodies. Their flesh looked rotten but petrified. As if their soul sucked dry out of them. The horrors in their faces touched the very void of my soul. Expressions as something horrific happened to them. That's when the rest of the crew caught me. They stripped me naked and they locked me down here. They accused me that I was the one that brought the bad luck onto them by placing those talismans for them and blocking the pathways. All I wanted was to keep them safe despite their uncivilized behaviors. Oh. So I guess that some of the stuff that we found may be to actually unlock that gate, maybe? See, like, we got blue handprints. Like someone squeezed through here. We cannot squeeze through there. Hmm. Well, that's a nice fish fillet there. Now, what was this uh, purple thing that we saw on this side of the lighthouse? We're all running, running into all kinds of a uh, nonsense. Ooh, nothing happened. Okay, so different keys for different doors, maybe. Let's go try that other one. Oh, the symbol's up there. Nope. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think we may be done with the lighthouse for now. I mean, there's going to be a lot of probably backtracking and... and looking for other stuff as we go along. Should we try out the... like the 2001 monolith we saw on the way here? I mean, at least the weather's nice. Yeah, this... Uh-huh. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, can we not? I probably should have looked behind me, shouldn't I have? Didn't say my survival instincts were good. So... Is it going to be like that every time we walk up to this thing? Can we? Oh, stop it! It's not my daughter's voice. Yeah, can we? Can we not? I mean, I'm gonna go up and touch it just cause. Nope. All right, I am very intrigued by this. It seems so different than other Lovecraft games I've played. Okay, I'm. We're, um, we're leaving. We're leaving. Wow. Can't, can't go that way. So I guess the rocks are just completely no man's land. Whoa. Okay, sure. Why not? What could go wrong? Gentlemen, you're probably wondering why I brought you here today. Oh. That's trippy. One of you is going to be real, isn't it? So all of you have an offering except for you. Ooh, yeah, this... All right, get ready to run. Oh, whoa, hi. The Hidden Ritual. Yeah, that was, uh... I don't know how we can actually get our life or gauge what our life is. Those weird... That, that is... Okay. The transparent tentacles are a nice touch. Actually, they're probably a very, very bad touch, but you guys know what I mean. So I guess the designers are like, you know what, every single bit of weird nonsense we can throw into this game, we're going to throw it. And we're going to throw it hard. Like this floating rock, for example. That then I can walk through. Oh, there's something else here. Alright. I did see another pathway at the lighthouse. Let's, let's head back to the lighthouse and regroup. The fact that we are not dead yet, considering everything that we've seen, or been driven mad. Yeah, I was referring to you. Don't talk back to me. <laughs> okay. There was another path, right? Actually, I just realized there is something hanging off the edge of a near... Okay, hold on. We need to... I need to see what that is. I thought that was a seagull before, but that doesn't actually seem to be the case. Okay, there's 
nothing there. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. This thing I think that this may be a good place to go ahead and call it a first episode. We have already seen a metric ton of weirdness, and there is more weirdness to come. We just got to find a way to unlock those gates. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. I think we've got a very bizarre and terrifying adventure ahead of us. Hope you all will stick around for it. But if you guys have liked the first episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.